Something looks really weird about my face today. I don't know what it is. It's okay. We're gonna cover up whatever it is. Hey everyone, it's Zia. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to review the Wet n Wild found the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I got this in the in the in the shade Bronze Beige. I think it works. I don't know. I suck at picking out foundation shades. I wasn't born to do it, but here I am trying to do trying to do it. Um, yeah, I've been awake for like two hours, but I'm just getting started on filming uh, because I just finished curling my hair. Like, it ain't even that curly. Oh, freaking waste of time. So I always prime my face before doing any kind of foundation. So it won't be fair to do this without primer. You know what I mean? I'm gonna use my Laura Geller Spackle, Spackle Under Makeup Primer. I've had this forever. Like, it's almost empty. I think I get like two more uses out of it. This was the first like high-end primer that I ever bought. And I really like it. I'm considering buying it again, but this time in a tinted version. I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions on different types of primer that I can use, let me know. Always willing to try new things. Something looks really weird about my face today. I don't know what it is. It's okay. We're gonna cover up whatever it is. Let's open this bad boy up. Let's see. Oh, it comes with a spatula. Okay. That's different. I don't know why I just swiped everything back into here, but let's see. Should I just... I don't know how much to put on. I'm just putting on a lot. <laughs> this has been tested under seven light conditions with top smartphone models with and without flash. So it's supposed to help eliminate white particle reflection. Uh, I didn't even think about that. I just noticed that it was a new foundation. I was like, ooh, show me, tell me, I wanna know. Do you see the difference? Oh my God. Okay. Regardless of whether or not it helps the pictures, like I love the, the coverage. I'm living for this coverage. It's so, so good. I mean, you really can't see a difference with my jawline and I haven't blended it down as far as I usually go yet. I kind of don't even need to because the color blends in really well already. Oh my god, I think I actually picked the right color for once. Did I? I don't know, maybe not. But I like it. I'm pretty happy with that. But I am going to go in with just a little more on my problem areas. Like this here is always really red compared to this here, but I'm just going to like even it out. And there's a little bit of a blemish here. Just gonna even that out, put some on the chin. Definitely feel like I used a lot less foundation with this than I do with most foundations, which is a plus. I'm really, really happy with the coverage of this. I think it looks really good. It's not like super glowy, but it's also not too matte. It's just like a nice medium. I don't look shiny. Like that e.l.f. one that I used not too long ago, that shit made me hella shiny. And I literally threw it away finally because I just really hate it. And then I started seeing a full face using only makeup I hate tag. And I was like, fuck, I should have kept it because I really, really hate that stuff. But whatever, I have another one that I hate. Probably gonna get rid of that soon too, but that one cost me $36. So I keep on trying to make it work. I'm gonna go put on the rest of my face and I will see you guys after that's all done. All right, so here I am checking in uh, about my with my foundation that I used today, uh, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I'm just doing this to remind myself at this point because I had such a hard time putting on this makeup today. It was just a mess from start to finish. Uh, actually, like the last quarter of the time it was okay, but the rest of the time I had so much trouble. Anyway, um, I really love the finish of this foundation. It looks really good. It held up with all of the craziness. I had such a hard time <laughs> putting all of this on. But yeah, I really, really love this foundation. Maybe I found a new favorite. I don't know. I'll check in with you guys in a few hours to tell you guys how this is working out. I think it looks pretty good. I like it. Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. It says now, what time is it? 6-12. It's 6-12. And I brought you to my window so that you can actually see the color of my face and not the color that my light makes my face look. And the foundation has held on really, really well, except for on my nose, but that's like a normal problem area. Hi, you're really close to my face now. Um, it wore off, plus I was wearing glasses, so you can see like it's thin there. 
thin, just thin and speckly. But on the rest of my face, it still looks really good. I used some products today that I wasn't a really big fan of. But aside from those sucking, the foundation is actually really, really good and it's holding on really well. So I'm gonna check in probably in like, I don't know, a little bit because I want to take off my face. So it's been on for about eight hours now. I'll check in one more time and then I'm gonna take off my face because I'm tired of it. Just gonna, no, I'm not gonna rip it off. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Hello, my loves. Um, yeah, I'm sitting over here about to edit this video. Say hi to my computer. That's big from StarCraft. Yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, sitting over here, about to edit this video. And I realized that I never filmed a end portion of my review. So I'm just gonna tell you guys about it now. The foundation, I think it was perfect. It had a really good finish. I really loved the finish of it. It held on really well, except for on my nose, cause my nose is like an oily mess. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you're looking for a really good affordable foundation, I would definitely give that one a try. I was just on the Wet n Wild website and I took a really quick look at it so that I can put the link to the foundation in the description box. And I noticed that they had a lot of different shades. So that's also a plus. I have a hard time, such a huge hard time, finding um, a really good foundation shade for me. And that one looked really close. And it looks like they have so many options. Wet n Wild has free shipping after $35. And for $35 from Wet n Wild, you can get quite a bit. So I would definitely suggest buying stuff from their website if you want to try out a bunch of Wet n Wild things. Because it's just, I feel like it's so much more cost efficient that way. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I like shopping online because then I don't have to worry about crowds and people. Like, I like people, but at the same time, I suck around people. I'm just getting into, like, other stuff. But, yeah. In the end, the foundation was really, really good. And I would definitely recommend it. I think it's great. Finish is great. It lasted really well. I don't think it claims to be super long-lasting, but it lasted really well on me. In fact, it was a little hard to get off at the end of the day. So that's a plus. If you need to wear makeup for more than eight hours a day, I think that would work really, really well for you unless you have really oily skin. In that case, you should probably go with something different. But if you have like combination dry skin, I think this is really, really good for you. So yeah, that's the end of my video. That was my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you have not already because I would love to have you as part of my tiny little growing YouTube family. I post new videos every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and sometimes Sunday. So thank you guys so, so oh. I thought I could like get it low enough to make it look like a little mustache. Ah, I have a shadow mustache. I'm getting off topics. I suck at this so much. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in my next video.